you already know how solo cooking is uh, working. Yes. So I'm not going from scratch with you. Right. But I will uh, well understand really quickly. Maybe I should wait for that. Sure. Yeah. Do you have a cup or something? Oh no, I don't. But I'll be all right. I got sunscreen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Yeah, because the sun is really strong. Yes. Uh, yeah, so basically this is a big lentil. It focuses the light over this thing. Uh, and uh, here you have an, uh, another mirror that brings the light under a uh, half plate. And so with this system we can provide the, the light inside the kitchen and cook in, in the inside. Sure. So basically, that's it. And uh, we often like to show how strong it is. Yes, so very effective. We show like here, you see the focus <laughs> light, and yeah. here is the point where oh, the light yeah. is the, the most focused, and uh, you see what happens. Yeah. Now. Yes. So you get like, okay, it's really hard. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> that's why. It's yep. Enough. Uh, and then we use uh, this tool like uh, a normal tool, like uh, we often see in the kitchen, um, in a gastronomic way of cooking, you have this big plate which is really hot in the center and then when you go further in the in the corner oh, yeah. it gets colder and colder. I mean, Still hot but it's still but hot cooler but enough to cool, yeah. yes. So um, so this way you can just by arrange the position of the pot and the pan and you can just choose your temperature level. How does this focus? Has to move to catch the sun? Yes, it's moving. Maybe okay. you just heard that. Ah. Uh, you have a little um, engine here. Sure. Which is uh, connected with a uh, solar panel. Is it small solar panel? Oh yeah. Center? Yeah. You don't need any more because it's balanced, right? Got yeah. the weight balance and everything. Yeah. Yes. And um, this um, this big uh, mirror is placed on the axis and it's turned on it. So in the morning it's uh, facing the east this way, this way and it's moving for the day. So mm -hmm. that way the, the sun always gets in the right spot. Yes. And uh, with this uh, really s simple technology here in the middle, you, you have a little um, oh, oh tracker. Yes. So, um, um, yeah, how should I explain this? It's basically, this is two light um, captors. Uh, meters? Like a meter, like a like a thermometer, a light meter. Uh, no, it just see if there is light or not. Oh, okay, oh. sure. Light sensor. Sensor. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's, it's just two light sensor, and one have to be in the shade, and one have to be uh, yeah. on the light. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So it basically knows where to be, and as soon as the sun moves, I mean, they have to. Sure. That's it. it. We used to have um, another system before. Uh, we can uh, still see what it was. I was going to say. It was really low tech technology, like an old uh, clock. Sure, you know, grandfather clock. Yeah, the weight. You have a way uh, in another way, in, mm -hmm. the, in the opposite, and it was like just slowly turning, and we have this little tick tack. Sure. Uh, which was nice, but sometimes it was not working. Like ah. the system just uh, stopped, and that's why you see here we have burned ah, yes. a little bit the paint because yep. the house is still turning, fortunately. But uh, our system was not so good. So now it's a little bit more technology, but it w it's working. So it was it. Sure. Yeah. And off the grid, solar power direct yeah. off the grid yeah yes everything is here yes <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful 
Wow. Yeah, I remember the clock spring one. Uh, uh, Jimmy McGilligan, uh, they're doing a documentary in India about the Scheffler and how he installed a bunch with the clock springs and the weights yes. and so forth. It's, uh, it's really amazing. And uh, but, but also manual, you know, intensive where they had to, now and again, as you say, maybe it just didn't advance and they'd have to click it ahead of a few yeah. minutes and that, we wouldn't do that yeah. anyway i mean we are cooking so yeah we can we cannot um, I and mean that's that's not our job sure that's right that's <laughs> right <laughs> so with this system we are really uh, our mind is really light now we just we just we can focus on cooking and what we are doing so we don't really have to check every five minutes if it, uh, sure. everything is okay so yep. that's really comfortable so since we have this uh, also this little um, how do you call this? A rocker arm. This? Yeah. So we can uh, adjust it for uh, depending on the season, in the summer or winter, because the sun is uh, higher or lower mm -hmm. in the sky. So we just use this tool to uh, fold. The oh sure. The mirror, sure, so it's narrower or wider it's beam. Oh, oh, it's flexible. Yeah. Yes, yep. So it's quite flexible, so we yeah. just, uh, depending, uh, I mean, in the winter, it's mm -hmm. more open, mm -hmm. and in the summer, it's a little bit. Sure, sure. That's a thing of beauty. It's like the beacon or the monument. You know, it's like a monument, yeah, the solar people. cooking. You know, you have this big <laughs> yes. thing open. Yes, that's yeah. that's something that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot of people don't even realize we are actually a restaurant because yeah. I don't know what they think. Maybe we are talking with the yeah. aliens or something. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes. we are cooking actually. Yeah. Yes. A, ra a radio satellite dish, which <laughs> a lot of people convert them into cookers, of course. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're just using the sunlight, of course. Yes, <laughs> it sounds yeah obvious to me, but yeah. Yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Do you need to get back in there or? Uh, yes, okay. I have to prepare some. Okay, thing. yes, you well, let's go. Back. So, here, yeah, you can get closer so you can see mm -hmm. it's actually boiling. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. That's, yeah, that's yeah, really yeah, hot yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wow. Well. So, that's, that's the warmer place over here? Yep. Yeah. And, the and then. It gets sure. Very sure. Minutes from his office. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so cool to see you here. Same here, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes we, he gave us Hello. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Pia. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah. you. Your partners gave us a tour with the okay, Scheffler cool. style cooker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be even better uh, oh, yes. next year. Yes. Yeah. You've oh, seen the. That is so cool. That is the, so the plan? Yes. You yeah. have time to, to discuss with him to, yeah. uh, to explain you all the buildings and yeah. how it's going to work? Sure, yeah, in fact. Yeah, well, it's quite high. Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds good. Uh, well, great. Well, if I could, I could just do a do my usual kind of introduction thing that I do, yeah. and then uh, I'll have a couple of questions. It's all open ended. So great. Cool. Well, I am so happy to be here in uh, Marseille, France. Welcome. Le Presage Restaurant with uh, Pierre André Aubert. Yeah. So is that what Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, later we'll be joined with a close friend, Alain Bivas. Uh, uh, we visited him back in 2020, just before the, the pandemic. I uh, had a good couple days uh, talking solar cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's impressive yeah. too. Oh, yeah. And 
So, I mean, I'm just thrilled to be here for any number of reasons. Uh, the couple, the couple questions I have that I really want to talk about. One is, how did you get into solar at all? Yeah. Before cooking, and then after that, if you're, if you want to talk about it, uh, I have an interest in this because uh, a couple of the people I've interviewed want to start a solar restaurant, or they have a restaurant and they want to turn it into solar. Okay. And but they're running into regulatory pushback, uh -huh. you know, and I'm sure you maybe have had some of that. It's not always, it's never a free ride, but so never. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's a cool ride too. <laughs> oh, right. Hey, push forward. Yeah. So, how did you discover solar energy, any way, shape, or form, and how did it end up with this this brilliant? Uh, yeah, event? well, uh, I've been raised in a, in a family where eating was really important, even if it was not a lot of meat. But we need we. I mean, my mother she wanted me to eat only fresh and local, only sourced vegetables and so on. I've been even veggie. <laughs> From birth to maybe six, eight, so the food was important, and of course, the, everything was important around that. So I got into this environmentally friendly stuff. So um, when I did engineering, because I, I first did engineering, um, I was aerospace engineer. Oh, wow. So I worked sure. for Airbus, for uh, space agencies, or open space agencies. So you know energy, like, like yeah. not, none of the rest of us know energy to that even, level. Even, <laughs> even though I work mainly for um, control and uh, how to, to steer an aircraft, for example, mm -hmm. but still, I had that, I learned that a yes. bit at school, and at some point I decided to turn back to school, and I went back to professional school to learn uh, cooking, so I went back to to school to learn cooking was like 13 years ago. I got my degree and I worked as a as a cook in different restaurants. It, it was from, from like street food till a Michelin star restaurant, so I learned a lot. And at some point I said, okay, I would like to to, um, to start my own restaurant. And I was like, what kind of restaurant should it be? And for me, it was clear that it has to be local, Ingredients, even um, wild plants and so on, because I had some some knowledge about that. Yeah. And I asked myself, okay, would it be possible to have local energy? Just because uh, the cooks just turn everything on, <laughs> full power, and then I just oh, okay, what am I gonna cook? Yeah. Yes. And, I, and I'm from Marseille, and I'm telling that in Marseille we have 400 days of sunshine per year. Sure. So. Uh, <laughs> It's a bit a pity not to use it, and um, and at that time I just looked at what was available for solar cooking because I mm -hmm. said okay if if I want to run a solar I mean self-powered energy locally powered energy restaurant then it has to be eighty percent solar in Marseille, okay. and at that time we had some solar cookers small ones uh, parabolic dish and, and stuff like that but none was designed for um, a restaurant either it was not power, not powerful enough, sure. or not handy enough. Built, yeah. mm -hmm. Because some sometimes you just think about the tool and not about the people that are you going to use the tool. Mm -hmm. So that's where, as a cook, I say, okay, I want um, a cast iron top uh, where I can cook several dishes in the meantime because that's what I learn and that's what I like in the kitchen. Here in the center, I have a high uh, high flame like. And if I move the pan away, then I get the other temperature and I can simmer sure. uh, all the pots. And that's, that was not uh, available in the market. So there, there the engineers say, okay, we're going to do that. Yes. And uh, how it's how it started. So we just, uh, I just um, went for a tour to see what was available, yeah. to see uh, Schaeffler mirrors or so. Then I, I contacted him, Wolfgang. And I, I tell him, okay, that's what I want to do. This thing's possible. You have one, and so on, and so on, and so on. And at the end, I, I end up uh, with them in, in Germany to uh, refurbish the one we have now, and then to build the first stove that was not working at all. <laughs> then we build the second one, and so on, and so on. And now we have a stove which is fairly good, so we are using it in the Gengets right, right sure. end. Great. And you're going to have more than one of these in for the, the build in the build one, we're going to have two stoves. Okay. Actually, we're going to have one stove, uh, a bit like the one we are using now. Sure. And we plan to have um, an oven right. that we're going right. to still working on. Mm -hmm. So that it can be, we can, we can have both way of cooking 
and be able to produce sure. everything you need uh, in the kitchen. Sure. And you must have seen the light fire model yep. that's on the trailer. Is, it, yeah, is yeah. the oven going to be something like that? Something like that, okay. yeah. yeah. Kind yeah. of. Great. Okay. And uh, I forget your partner's name. What is his name? I have back? many partners, but okay. I have Clément yes. here. Okay. Clément, Josepha. Yes. But also have, well, uh, sure. Olivier, sure. Benjamin, and so on. And yep. the point is like uh, to finance the big restaurants, we just open up the share of our company. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, if you want to invest into that project, then we're going to give you some share. So we have now 128 new investors uh, okay. since last year. Sure. Uh, and that means to 240,000 uh, 40, euros that people just put into the, the project. Sure. And so that we could well, go to the bank and say, okay, see, we have a lot of yes. people believing in it. So now we need a loan. And that's where we are now. We are starting the, the building behind. Sure. And that's that's the real oh, man. one. That's going to be... Is it this whole, this lot too? Is that part of it? Yeah, yeah it, everything's part even, of it. Even out to here? Or yeah, up to here. Because that's the construction thing. The yeah, the construction okay. is the building, so oh, we started man. there. Yeah. And and here where we are, it's going to be a whole garden. So it's not going to be... Uh, it's going to be like uh, until the the small tree, okay. the almond tree there. Sure. That's the limit of the power. Oh, the, yeah. The land. Yes. Oh, it's a lot. That's so cool. it's cool. We're not going to produce all the veggies we need and fruits we need for the restaurants. It's going to be too small. But at least we're going to produce a lot. Yeah, and it helps also create the space we want to see. We want to, I mean, as a cook, you just want to walk down out of your kitchen. It's okay. Uh, I get uh, mint, I get whatever, and I get some fruits sure. and whatever. That's just just so crazy. Sure. And yeah. honestly, uh, even if we do have uh, 400 days of sunshine, yeah, yeah. we do have some cloudy days sure, too. Sure. <laughs> so we need to have a backup. Sure. And, um, and for example, the backup we, we would like to have is biogas. Because yeah. it makes sense. Yes. We, you do have bio waste. Yes. So you do have to biogas. It makes sense and uh, it, it's logical. Yeah. That is not possible because in France, you have uh, regulations for biogas production. And um, they don't have for sm really small one. They just have it for big industry. Right, right. So even if you want to make a really small, like the one we want to do, it's ten thousand times smaller than the first regulation. Yeah. So you don't have the same troubles issue with that because it's way smaller. Sure. So, but we are not allowed to. I mean, if we want to use it, then we have to respect that regulation. Which is way too heavy yeah, right. for small mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we, we try to change the law right now, and we are working with some uh, yes. departments and so on. Now, <laughs> now we have done everything legally to show how absurd it is. Yes, <laughs> and we end up like everyone, even the the, the state and so on. They want us to do it, mm -hmm. but they they say, okay, we cannot give you money to do it. But we, we if you do it. Let us know because we're really interested to, to get the, okay. the outcomes, you know. Sure, sure. So we're going to start a crowdfunding campaign yes. uh, to say, okay, we need money to uh, document the experimentation. Yep. And we're going to give it back to the community. Like, okay, that's what we've done. That's how many BioS we're using. Because the problem is like as, as small restaurants, we don't have the money right. to spend in order to change the law. We right. can't do that. We need extra money. It might be the government, it might be the community, just to make things moving on. Because otherwise, we're just getting the business down. Because if, if I'm doing this, I'm not producing food and... Well. Sure, sure. Well, that was the first thing. The other thing I just want to state for the camera, how miraculous Marseille is with, with 400 days a year of sun. <laughs> 400 days. <I> mean, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do any fact checking. <laughs> I know exactly. I give you the source. <laughs> yes, right. No, I'm sure if I lived here, it would it would certainly present itself. But well, that's that's fantastic. Do you do you have any colleagues that maybe are thinking of replicating this? Say, you know, in Paris. I have, a, I know in Paris. I have some some people that come to us now, and so mm -hmm. like, I I want to do that in that player in that part. So we have um, um, a city just next next by. Just us, can you do this? On our land, because we have we have something, so we are we are looking for opportunities right now. We are trying to secure first this one and the big one, sure. and we plan to be able to start new ones or maybe just to sell it mm -hmm. uh, end of next year. Okay. So because we get 
people they come to us okay I, I like to, 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 to build one mm -hmm. and it's like okay but do it we, right. yeah it's not easy to do it by yourself because <laughs> right. we spend a lot Don't of just time take a picture and yeah, yeah, yeah that's right no problem <laughs> so they would be licensed as le presage de we don't we trois. still don't know because <laughs> it might be uh, something like that but it might be also just selling the tool and mm -hmm. it's like you use it as you want and uh, you don't need to, oh, to yeah. get the le presage stamp or whatever sure. Sure. Uh, because it might make sense to use solar energy to cook in a, uh, in a couple of years because energy is going to be so expensive that at the end, well, it makes sense. It's not only something green, something that it is beautiful because you cook uh, with the sun and so on. It just it makes also sense on an economic point of view. That's what we try to do. It's like it, it has to run by itself, otherwise it can't be a solution for the future. Sure. Other question? But, yeah. Uh, how do you know Alan? How did you meet Alan? You know uh, Alan um, I mean, I just know him because he did a great uh, tool. I mean, yes. it's really cool. So um, I used it and, and somehow I don't remember when we met first time. And we got on the... On, I even... I think we met once, mm -hmm. but I don't remember where. Okay, sure. Because I met... I'm, I'm sorry, sometimes I've met so many people, so oh, yeah. oh, I, I yeah. don't remember <laughs> if, it, if it was like... Uh, real or we just have a phone or and uh, and yeah that, that was that, because I think it was maybe no it was not in console full last last time I don't remember what it was right. and and uh, I, I'm I'm getting back uh, to one of the, your previous uh, question about the, the safety reason and so on mm -hmm. um, that's also one reason we are doing it like that because we are cooking inside the kitchen right and in France, it's quite difficult to get uh, uh, permission uh, to cook outside for a restaurant. Uh, oh, sure, sure. So, so this qualifies as inside. Yeah, yeah. You've got your cooktop inside. Yeah, and as I can clean everything really good and so on the floor, uh, everything is clean, then I am like a normal kitchen. Even if, if it's solar powered, from the kitchen side, it's just a stove. Sure. So, I don't really care if it's solar or not. If it, and actually, it's even simpler because if it was gas, then there are some extra regulation to be sure that when you use gas, you have proper uh, sure. um, ventilation and so on. So that's that's what we did. The only thing we had to uh, for for this one, we had some. They were okay to let us do it like that, but um, we need to um, be sure in the next one that the, um, the mirror, you can't, you can't reach the mirror when it's wa working. You can't? You can reach, oh, you right, cannot right. go backside right. when it's working. So we have to, uh, um, to have fence or something like that, just to be sure that no one can go sure, there, sure. Even, even the workers. Yes. Because we might be not just the few of us now, and some of the workers, they might not know exactly how it's working, they might burn themselves just because right. they didn't know. So they ask, us to have fence which is okay yeah. even if we could not do the the uh, wood thing burning well, stuff outside the fence but a very long yeah, board. Well, <laughs> not, not so easy i think but we'll see yes and um and the second one which is a bit tricky but we're working on it it's like when you are in the kitchen and there is for some reason a fire starting wrong you have like the red button that you just push right and it stops all the kitchen tools that is sure. giving power in the kitchen and we need to steer the parabola, the reflector, so that if you press that red button, then something happens that it moves away, away or, or it stops or whatever, mm -hmm. so that you don't have you don't have any power anymore uh, inside yeah. the kitchen. Yeah, fire hazard potential. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. But that's the only limitation, I would say, that we we have encountered so far. Sure. And you're a uh, uh, local sourced, aren't you trying to do more local sourced farmers food yeah, and all that? Only. Yeah, only. Yeah, even the fish is uh, yes. only Mediterranean Sea. Sure, uh, yeah, which we, is not, not real hard. <laughs> yeah, 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 but sometimes it's hard because, because of the price. Oh, sure. So for example, we don't have um, uh, beef, uh, we don't have uh, sheep or... Mm -hmm. Because if you want it locally raised and, and, and organic raised, then it's quite expensive. Right. And I mean, it's normally expensive, mm -hmm. but it's the right price. But we can't afford 
for the situation right now in the big restaurant where it's going to be a, some ups, not upscale but just good restaurant then the price will be a bit uh, higher and then it will be okay to have uh, ingredients that cost a little bit more but so far that's why we just have poultry pork and and some fishes sure and of course veggie which is the main thing we try to um, to, uh, to do waffle for example with old cast iron oh, sure. waffle right, right. stuff yeah. it was quite quite funny but <laughs> still I mean, it was just for fun and we tried to burn um, like to, to do uh, that, that creme brûlée Creme creme brûlée, brûlée. Sure, sure. And, uh, and we tried to do it, uh, uh, but, but still, I mean, it was for fun, just yeah, to, yeah. <laughs> to take some picture. <laughs> you, and you had phlegm, all right. Yeah, it was burning, yeah. <laughs> but it's quite amazing. <laughs> we did it, with, we don't use it anymore because, same, it, it takes too long, so uh, we can't do it for, for the restaurant sure. now. But we used the um, um, lens. Uh, so that you can, lens. Yeah, flannel okay. lens. That's, that's what I was going to say. And big ones. Sure. And we use them to burn and to caramelize sure. um, apricots. Oh, so wow. we were we were like, but it, it, I mean, it's quite um, uh, good, but it takes time to burn it sure. after each one. Yep. But you could almost burn the center and caramelize the center without cooking the outer oh, part. Right, right. What, so, you, what you want? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. But it's just okay. crazy. I mean, yeah, yeah. Ask any cook how to do that. It's like you can't do it oh. in any other way. So you have to be like frozen or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and it was quite crazy because you yeah. really get that cra caramelized, yeah. cooked uh, taste in, but uh -huh. really untouched raw outside. So that was quite interesting. But it was it was really cool. We really. we had fun doing it, but it's more recipe for uh, one Michelin star and sure. stuff like that because it takes just so long to do it yeah. for, for everyone. So. We yeah. could not just keep that recipe, but we've, we've done it, sure. and we know that that's where it could go. Yes. If if some cooks start really using sun to just to have fun and do new recipe, then it's gonna be yeah. really fun. We have a I have a Fresnel lens, self-made yeah. DIY cooker. Uh, I've only done eggs and bacon. Yeah. With it so far. We've done sardine. Yeah. Well. That, yeah. <laughs> small small fishes. That's what I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get there, we'll get there, and we'll have to do that with peaches and apricots, because I have it, I just, I don't use it as much, because yeah. of course, as you know, yeah. when it's big enough, it's just like a chef It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah and, uh, I know. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> no, it's quite amazing. I mean, we didn't do that, but we wanted to, we worked with um, with some school, like, for, for um, student projects, and the idea was to, to get that, that Fresnel lens and some kind of reflector, so that you get, like, vertical beam. Sure. And you could really be uh, like play with it so yes. that you can really uh, lightly burn something. And we, we still don't do it, I uh, didn't do it because sure. it takes time and, and yeah. money. And well, yeah. but I'm sure it's one of the, the things uh, that will be really fun. And oh, yeah, we're gonna have you looked at uh, contacting uh, like universities? I'm thinking in terms of like the biomass, biogas generator. If you could set up some kind of grant where it would be a it would be a pilot project for testing yeah. that. But the point is like we tried, mm -hmm. but it's not legal to do it. So even right. if it's pilot, so we even have to this, you know, we have to 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 uh, work on the edge. Yes, I would yes, say. yes. And uh, actually, we already did it. So when we were really uh, it was like ten years ago, almost unknown, and sure. we just buy one, bought one. And we did it, so we know how it's working, we know how crazy it is, like, you, you take the bio waste of 20 guests, you have half an hour of gas the day after. Yeah. So it's just crazy, and yeah. and, uh, and we know it's working, it's just wonderful. The point is, like, now is to do it again, mm -hmm. with some extra data, so sure. that we can show that we're not doing anything wrong, or at least we know what we do, right. and we can prove it. Yeah. So that's why we need some extra money. And at some point, we are even okay to um, to uh, to tell everyone, even to tell the press. Tomorrow, we're gonna start something illegal. Just come to see it, <laughs> <laughs> and and but to do it like for fun because everyone wants us to do it. And you know, you can even have a story where we tell the police we're gonna do something illegal. Please tell us when you come to arrest yes, us, yes. so we can tell the press and sure. start. You know. 
But all of this, it's really fun. We're, we're telling us <laughs> stories about that, but it takes time. Yeah. Even if it's uh, for fun or drink, yeah. it's time. So we need grants, money, community support, so yeah. that we can set up jokes like that, that I think are really powerful. Yes. But it's open up uh, minds, and that's what we we want to do with, with solar cooking. Sure. I, I truly believe and I'm not the, 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 the one telling that, but I, I, I made these words mine. In order to start something now, you need to picture yourself in the future yes. with it. If you can't picture yourself a bright, delicious yeah. solar cooking future, then you can't move today. Yeah. So we have to tell stories about what comes next, what is the, the future, and to open up wider um, to open up imaginary mm -hmm. so that mm, it, if it's possible there then it's gonna happen sometime sure. and that's where we are we're just saying okay we are cooking good food with something which is totally crazy because we're just using the sun to yes. cook and and some people they just forget about it. it's like we're in kind of normal restaurant but no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just fucking crazy sure. uh, because because we are the only one working like that and 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 even for us we're doing it since a few years now so it, it tends to be normal mm -hmm. but it is not <laughs> it's still crazy uh. yeah so, uh, the, the, looking in the future and seeing it to move toward it I can tell you I, I write plays I've written plays uh, and the only ones I've been able to finish are the ones where I have the ending in mind <laughs> I can't fin I, I literally have about ten of them where I don't have an ending yet they're still sitting there in my desk drawer. <laughs> so yeah, it's the same thing. It's quite interesting, and and I'm sure the the locks we have to unlock, they are mainly within us. <laughs> yes. Then we will technological problems. We we don't. I don't know sure. the, the problems are there. And pick other people's locks. Like yeah, yeah, pick yeah, the regulatory sure, sure, locks, sure. and that's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. To, to unlock enough so that then after it spreads like a like I don't know. Spreads really fast. Sure. Uh, do they have any rules about occupation? Since it's outside, I don't imagine the regulatory things for food service. What do you mean? Well, I know for an indoor <laughs> restaurant, yeah, for fire code, so enough yeah. people can get out if, if there's yeah. a fire. There's nothing like that. You don't have to worry about that here, right? No, when, when you're outside, yeah, you don't really worry. Yeah, it's yeah. like you have to worry about um, uh, work, working regulation, sure, because it's a working place. Mm -hmm. But uh, but as well, no, you don't really care. And th what's quite funny with the, um, the fire regulation, uh, for example, for the, the, the restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, we went to the, the fireman and trying to explain what's going on and so on. And at the end, they just explained us, you know, we don't really care about your building. So if it burns, we, we I mean, we only care about people. Right. If you can assure me, assure me that there are exits everywhere and the people they go and go out in the worst case i'm gonna sit outside with my my, my water and i'm just went waiting <laughs> the the building goes in in in, right. in i mean just burned down Crisp. and i'm just taking care and it's not going to burn anything else yeah so that's quite funny because they don't really care about that part right. that yeah. part is more the uh, insurance Exactly. Who yes. is gonna exactly. pay for yes. the building? Yes. But for them, for the finance, just like okay, people can go escape. Then sure. I don't, I don't really care. Yeah. Can I go in? I mean, for them, it's just like that, and it's quite interesting to know. Oh yeah. Well, and you don't have much of a fire hazard with a with a container. This is basically a converted container, right? Yeah. Shipping container. Yeah. The three, four of them here, and and uh, so that's and the inside. That's is that metal siding on the inside? Yeah. I mean, they are. Um, uh, Insulated um, materials that you use for um, ah, what's the name? A furnace or cooling room. Oh know? sure, sure. And yeah. and uh, that's what is mainly many for. So when you have like uh, you can use it for um, for uh, um, not for cooling for for storing right uh, ingredients. Sure, sure. Uh, so that's totally legal in kitchen, and uh, and we use it because otherwise. Uh, in summer, a container could be really hot. Sure. I mean, the other one, there is no insulation, and 
You can you can even cook inside. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yes, we know that. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm thinking now if you have time, there's, sure. there's two two items at least I want to ask about. The that's the water heater yep. on that roof, and then the the parabolic uh, yep. trough thing, which uh, which apparent it's positioned now apparently cooking, right? Because it's uh, yeah, it's 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 lower before. Yeah. yeah. If uh, we can step over there. Yeah, then, sure. Okay. With pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. For the um, I mean. Right now it's not working because um, because I have to, to fix it. Oh, the water heater? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, it's it's a um, there is a heat exchanger, mm -hmm. and so you need a like um, uh, leak oil, whatever. Ah, give me a sec. Sure. Um, there is two ways of heating water with these things. Mm -hmm. Either the water is going inside the collector sure. and gets hotter and hotter and then it's just stored in the tank. Or you have like a special uh, um, closed loop mm -hmm. that's heating a media, which is like not uh, water, but sure. some visceral, whatever, that counts, uh, that counts uh, burn, that can separate with water, whatever, sure. can become ice too. So, right. uh, and then it gets into the tank and there, there is a heat exchanger and it hits the water in the tank. That's what we have. Right. And we have the leak. So that's, that's um, mm -hmm. a liquid that we use in the collector. Mm -hmm. It's just not enough. So it's not working and I have to fix it. So that's why we put some, some shade on. But otherwise, it's just working just so sure. easily. So, I mean, I, don't, I don't, yeah. still don't understand why we don't have that everywhere. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. I mean, yeah. everywhere. Like, yeah, but when, when you have cheap, cheap, uh, cheap petrol, then yeah. Yeah. then you might not think about all the outcomes that, yeah. Yeah. and 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 then move to some some more expensive source of energy, but sure. more interesting to my point of view. Yeah. And so the other one now with the parabolic trough, uh, solar brother, yeah. put together, yeah. and uh, it reminds me of uh, Ivan Yolniski's, where he's got the one where it isn't even the vacuum tube, yeah. but it's just a long. It's, not, maybe not quite as wide as that, but he puts in whole yeah. loaves of bread and so forth. So uh, what what all do you cook in there? Is that like for pastries and stuff? Or yeah, for yeah. more or less everything we can. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, the point is like we got the first one yeah. uh, from Sarah Bosa, sure. um, and we we had the, the task of testing it. Okay. And almost de trying to to use it as mm, cooks do. That means to destroy it because right, right, cooks right. they just like ah, yeah, I'm in a hurry I have to uh, <laughs> and uh, and surprisingly we didn't destroy it so it was really well made <laughs> so it's pretty cool and well you can back everything you want because you will gonna reach 180 200 degrees quite easily yeah. and uh, we buy some biscuits we use on on, on desserts for example we can back some some chicken some pork some uh, brinjal, aubergine, some zucchini, some whatever. I mean, so you, you can cook a lot. We, sure. we've, did, we've cooked a lot of um, tortillas. Mm -hmm. That means potatoes. Uh, first, you bag the potatoes with the onions, and then after, you just add some beaten eggs, and you oh, just yeah. like do tortillas, and we are making like uh, a lot of it, yeah. because then you just have to slice it, and you have like a, a piece of tortilla that sure. you can add anywhere. So, I mean, it's really convenient. So you can cook, cook a lot of things inside. That's where we, we're we using it, because it, it helps. And I'm thinking, I mean, when we we present solar cooking at like street festivals, and I have a solar brunch in my backyard with all those, those small cookers, like the Sun we yeah. use that pretty much in every one. And uh, one of the, the challenges is people will say, well, I bet you can't cook this or that in a solar cooker. Yeah. And of course, you can cook anything in the right solar cooker. And the other one is, well, does it? how long does it take? Yeah. Well, like with a regular box cooker, maybe a little longer than your average stove. And it's like, well, just that's enough for them to say, well, I don't know if I'm interested. Yeah, Which yeah. is crazy. So, you know, an hour to yeah, make something. Seasons. And so it's an hour 15 or an hour and a half. What's your hurry? <laughs> yeah, there are two things. There's, there's one I've, I've been, it was quite funny because I was doing the same in the streets and so on. Sure. And people were like, yeah, but you can't cook pizza, no? I was like, man, <laughs> give me a tool where you can go in the streets and cook pizza right, right out of anything, you know, uh, being unplugged and so on. So it was a bit crazy. It's just like you're telling me, you're yep. just searching the only thing I can, can't cook with it, but you can't do it too. So it doesn't make sense at the end. The other part is now with the vacuum tube, 
yes. it's quite fast. And sometimes all the people I know that just try it and so on just burn. Yeah, they everything. forget. Yeah, they, they think it's going to take longer. Even so. even 15 minutes, it's burn. Yeah. So it's it's quite quite amazing because it's going even too fast. And and honestly, when you work in, in professional kitchen, um, we love slow cooking yeah. at right temperature. Yeah. It's even way better. And even our grandma, they were doing it, they were simmering and you should not boil, it's simmering. Right. It's two different things. Yes. And that's really important not to go too high sometimes. And, and in France, we do have that gigot de setter. That means uh, seven hours long cooking for a piece of meat. It's just like the, the name of a recipe. It's like you have to simmer it. It's not because the piece of meat is so uh, difficult to cook. It's just because if you simmer it, then you're not gonna reach boiling and the meat is gonna melt down your mouth. Yes. That's what you're looking for. So sometimes it's way better to slowly cook something than just to, to, to mix it fast. But that's, that's a part of the trick. That means, of course, you can't cook the same way, except if you have a solar stove that, yes, that we have, because <laughs> we need to cook the same way cooks are cooking. Yeah. But at home, but sometimes you won't be able just to cook as fast as you would used to. But then you, you have to learn a bit more how to do that. But for example, I give you a simple example for me that I'm using at home. I have that um, parabolic uh, dish, like a small uh, uh, SK14, like SK or, exactly. Yes. And um, and most of the time, you try to, to follow the sun, to, to have really the most power you need, and so on, to really have... Uh, I mean, I don't use that anymore. I'm just sitting in front of the south, morning, before going to work, I put some veggies, whatever, sure. like a big stiff, and when I come back home, at the six o'clock evening, then it's ready because it just went up, got cooked for an hour and a half, right. and then slow down and it's still hot, and I have my meal ready and I didn't do anything, and that is where it's crazy. Yeah. So most of the time, we're trying to look at what you can't do with it, but we need to look at what you can. Yes, and there are plenty of things you, you, you can do. It's just as new way of doing and, and learning and of course it takes time energy and 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 will yes. to learn something yes. new yeah. and uh, to adapt to it sometimes and get in tune with the the cycles of the sun yeah and by the way it's free yeah I got, i'm not paying a cent yeah, yeah. For, for, that and energy. for for me the um, last year i um i, I starting again uh, uh, solar cooking at home I was not using it anymore because I was too in a hurry, I wanted to do something fast and so on. And I started again last year and the reason why I started again is because I, I spent half of the summer at home and it was just cooking inside, it was making the, the house so hot that I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to cook anymore inside. So I'm going to cook outside and I'm going to use solar cooking and it was way fresher in, inside the house so it was quite, quite wonderful. And and most and more over than than talking about the tools is talking about what you can cook with them and how at the end it's easy and tasty and that's where I mean that's where it starts to be interesting um, when 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 we we can do all uh, chicken inside that four it's just like you just cook it and then you have even the potatoes and vegetables inside. And I know, okay, it's a big one, yeah. but you can cook up to six wall chicken inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, it might take maybe half an hour, one hour more than just. But, well, it's not a big, a big issue to me. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember uh, one of the cooking shows on cable TV about barbecue pit masters. Yeah. These guys who have a, uh, almost the size of these things. Yeah. You know, right? And they're arguing about how long they cook. And one says, oh, 10 hours. And I said, oh, I go, I go 12 hours. You know, and, and I'm, you know, at 220 Fahrenheit or something yeah. instead of, two, you know, instead of the, the other guy's 240. And they're arguing longer time is better, lower temperature. Yeah, and what is like, it's quite, it's quite easy. When you cook something, yeah. the smaller it is, the quicker and the hotter you yes. need to 
to cook it. Because it's simple, if you have a big piece and you want to cook it, if it's too high temperature, it's gonna just burn outside yes. and the, 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 the heat is not gonna go inside. Yeah. So that's that's the idea behind So yeah. the, that's why they are talking about 10, 12 hours, because they're yes. gonna, I'm sure they're gonna cook some huge piece of meat and, and of course you need just to yeah. do it slowly, 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 yeah. so that it goes inside. Like racks of ribs, yeah. racks of ribs, so the volume alone, yeah. So the basic, so, and I never thought of this before, but you know, in every one, of, every time I visit someone, uh, something new comes up, you're basically saying, let the food cook itself. It's going to start grabbing that heat, the food itself, yeah. the meat, and then its own heat yeah. takes care of the rest. Yeah, yeah. Just give it the time it needs. Yeah, and, and for example, for meat, now we know that if you get it medium rare, like um, pink, uh, you need not to cook it over 69 degrees Celsius. Right. From, so that's where, I mean, I know chefs in, in top-end restaurants, yeah. they just cook it, like they, they, they seal it in vacuum bags, yes. they cook it, cook it in water, sous vide, yeah, and they just make sure they don't go up than, than, than 69 degrees, sure. so otherwise they're gonna cook the, the, the hemoglobin, the blood actually, mm -hmm. and they're, not gonna, they're gonna also cook some parts that's gonna uh, make the the, the, the flesh uh, give back water and so on, so you don't get that juiciness. So that's that's why it's not your crazy. You need you need not to cook too high. Actually, yeah. now we know it because physics says that. And and some chefs they just use it so that they don't cook it anymore. Yeah. After they just like burn it outside to make the crunchy, right. caramelized stuff. But just that and reheat it, but not more. Yeah, and then so. turn the turn the. They get the sear, but then they turn it down. Or yeah. like, well, the cooking shows you sear it on the pan, then you put it in the oven at the lower temperature. Yeah. You can still get away yeah. with that. Yeah, that's the same, yeah. 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 So that's why it's quite interesting. Uh, even though I'm, I'm talking about what we do in restaurants, which is always different than what you can do at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I, it's not to be tricky. I'm not sure. Or I have friends, they do it. They just cook everything with solar cooking. Mm -hmm. Well, well, we are in Marseille, so it might be easier. Yes. <laughs> but uh, they just make the point to, yeah, okay, I'm uh, trying to do all my meals with solar cooking, even for, for dinner, because they're going to leave it like for the afternoon and it's going to be ready for dinner. But even, even that, the idea is not to, to, to be, to be to just to, to do it all the time with the solar cooking, it's just when, when you have the opportunity, when it's okay, when you're fine maybe, or whatever, then sure. you, can, you can just use it. So, and, and I'm sure we just starting, it's only starting, because we do have different um, kind of solar cookers, but I'm sure we're going to have some more, and some oh. different ones, and, and so on, so, new one comes out. so so yeah, it's going to be I I am dreaming about tools that I still <laughs> have in mind, but... You know, uh, I have a... Uh, a, a window, well, it's the sun dish from India, where it's it's basically a kind of a, yep. a bent funnel, and we have it outside Joe's office in our home, and there's kind of almost like a class of cookers called through the wall or in the window cookers. Okay. And so if you have a, an equator facing window, you can just have it in that window, you know, south here, okay. the north window if you're in Australia. And uh, um, I hope to visit with a woman who uses one to heat, her, heat a room that doesn't get enough heat from the furnace. Okay. But also, she and she has a, like a, a black metal mat uh -huh. to generate the heat and then opens the window. It's just literally fused into the window. Okay. And then for solar cooking, she just turns it upside down so it's reflective and a trivet oh. in the pot and then closes the window and she has an oven and it's uh, it's above the above the boiling point you know just above oh, okay. so it's really enough to slow bake slow cook yeah, 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 yeah. It's working. yeah and doing the vegetables and i mentioned this because what you have here is it's a through the wall oven yeah it just has to be <laughs> it's pretty big massive yeah <laughs> but just because we need a lot of power uh, yeah. to, to just to to cook for many yes i mean we could cook up to 60 people yeah yes so, and I can imagine, uh, I mean, I'd like to get to uh, real estate, people that are building homes, 
just a, we'll put a through the wall oven like uh, the Barbara mm -hmm. Kerr oven in Arizona where it just sticks out from the wall and it, it never hits uh, 450 Fahrenheit or what, what's the burning temperature in Celsius. Mm. You know, it's not going to be that flash point where you're going to worry about burning down the house, but you can cook pretty much anything. Yeah. You know, yeah. if, it's, uh, if, it's, if it's getting too much energy, we'll just put a put a blanket or a towel over yeah, the top a little bit. Ma I mean, it doesn't matter, then you get used to, and, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, and, and in the meantime, it's just like, when you do barbecue, usually it's not raining outside. Exactly. So, <laughs> that means there is at least some sun or maybe cloudy day, but still. So, that that's also possible to do it, no? Yes. One, there are a bunch that I've interviewed who uh, have designed their own cookers and they're they're all leaning toward how can I make it more look like the home appliance so people adopt them, they'll look more familiar to them. Yeah, yeah, and, that's, uh, that's what we did actually, yeah. And when we started it, we just wanted to have the same um, stove, let's say, or at least the top, the cast iron yes. plate that I used in, in, in professional kitchen. Mm -hmm except they were powered with gas burners but then we just want i mean we want and we are close to get the same temperature because we are reaching 450 in the center of the place which is like 450 uh, celsius celsius yeah oh man yeah. eight nine hundred whatever yeah way, yeah, yeah. way a lot of way a lot yeah of yeah <laughs> but but you need that power yes so that you can cook a lot yes and you can just use it because you get that high temperature, but then you get all the all the so, um, lower ones around. Yeah. So that's where it's interesting. But I really learned that way in, in, in good kitchen. And and that's what I wanted. Just, okay, if I do solar cooking, I don't want to change too much the way yes. I'm cooking. And I want cooks, friends, when if they come to my restaurant and I invite chef, it's okay. Oh, I know, it's a catch on top. Oh, yes. okay, I can cook, let's go. <laughs> and there's no worries about that. So I do understand that sometimes uh, we need to, to look into the how people they cook here actually, mm -hmm. and especially, honestly, in, third, in, in developing countries where we white male uh, <laughs> thinking that we know everything goes there and say, okay, you you don't have any forest anymore, you don't have wood and... and, and, and you're making too much smoke with your wood, you're gonna die because of use it. It's like, yeah, but it's not the way I am cult culturally used of cooking. So, the, the sometimes people they realize, okay, there is a, an interesting to change, they have an interest to change, but most of the time it's quite difficult to make people believe. So, we decided. Um, to start the restaurant in France, I'm pretty sure it would have been easier to find money to start a restaurant. I don't know where in Africa or so on. But we said, no, we need to do it here. Because first, if it's a good idea, let's apply it to us. And then second, let's make it a trend. Let's make it um, wonderful, delightful. And if we in France use solar cooking to have a barely famous restaurant <laughs> that runs, then it makes sense to make it somewhere else because you say, okay, oh, they're doing it in France. Oh, yes. maybe, maybe I want to do it now. Yeah. And so we had, we, had, um, we had some people from Brazil, from Australia, New Zealand. They start to, to send us mail. like, yeah, it's cool what you do. Can we do it so? It's like, well, right now we're not ready for worldwide expansion. But hopefully we'll be able you know, to do it. Um, I, I I can't picture myself uh, on Venice Beach. <laughs> with, uh, yeah. Yeah. You mean Los Angeles? Yeah, Los Angeles? Why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah. Could be cool, no? <laughs> solar, re solar restaurant on Venice Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna work. Anyway. Yeah, just have the place for people to park their, their skateboards yeah. and rollerblades. That would work. Yeah. Like, like a charger for for. Yeah. Uh, Anything yeah. you need? Well, and most of them are, are the same deal. Where the, I mean, yeah, what do you need? Get Just get oh. something out of there. Oh, yeah. Do this real quick. Ah, yeah. Oh, no, he's just checking. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want, uh, we go there and see sure. what's, it, what's inside. Uh, sure, it's possible. Let's do that. Yeah. I'm, just asking, I'm just asking him if it's possible. Yep. I'm just going to stay here, though. Okay.
Hey, look at the water. Mm. It's water, that's all that matters. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. I'm making sure that the logo is facing the camera. Yeah. <laughs> There is something in, in the logo, maybe you have seen. Mm. There is a vegetable oh, here. Yeah. Like a stalk of wheat. Yeah. Or asparagus. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> because it's a um, um, word game, I mean, a letter one. Présage. If you turn the letter upside down, you make asperge. Okay. Which is asparagus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's, that's where I come from, actually. Sure. sure. Présage. And présage, you know what it means? No, the uh, the oven. Oh, the omen. The omen. Omen. Yeah. Oh, like a, a sign good omen. Yeah. <laughs> and presage is just because we believe that it's uh, go. that is gonna go to that delicious future <laughs> we want to see. Wow. You always ask where do you see? So we're going from here. Yeah. You know what would you what would you recommend to other people to that would like to either either go for broke and start something like this, which is it's just a major undertaking. This yeah, it took us a lot of yeah. time. I mean, yeah. it's it was. I mean, a lot of people say, "Hey, you're you're um, still doing it? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> you're brave and and you have faith and so on." And that's true. I mean, because we faced a lot of um, difficulties yeah. in order to to make it happen to get all the money to finance the restaurant and it took us longer long way up to that and um, but still we keep going on even even um, Wolfgang Scheffler mm -hmm. the one yeah. doing this he came last year uh, to visit us because we wanted to discuss how we're gonna do the the, the, the two next uh, mirror for the, the big restaurant and so on sure. And uh, one of the first questions he had, so like, and, and, and you, um, how, what do you do for a living? I was like, yeah, uh, I'm doing solar cooking. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I'm, I'm okay, <laughs> I'm not now, this year, I'm not into the kitchen, so I'm not paid by, by the way I'm, by, because I'm cooking, but because of the project, because I raised money, and I've been paid on the money I raised. So actually, it's the same, it's because sure. we do solar cooking that I get my money out of it. And it was like, even, even, Wolfgang was like, really, you do? It's like, <laughs> okay, then, then it's different. We're not doing, to, I mean, he sort of, I mean, it, just because he had no news from us, I mean, he has some news. I keep telling him some news, but it was like, once in a while, uh, just, oh, we're open this, we're doing this, we're doing this. And he was not aware that we were like open every day since two years and, and we uh, doing the business and, and making business out of it. So that was quite funny. But but it's still difficult and, and it's difficult on the other side because um, the catering business, the restaurant business, is not, is not the best one if you want to do a, um, a proper business. I don't know. It means if you want to, to pay uh, all the ingredients the right price and to source them locally. If they are organic, it's a bit more expensive. If you want to pay your um, your cooks and all the people working in, in the in the restaurants, all the hours they're working for, for example, then uh, well, it's not the best business ever. So we're trying to do this, and uh, we had some help. We have some help from from the government, the, um, the state, the, uh, for for the building maybe ma mainly, not not for running the business. Sure. It's just for the extra cost sure. of building Apple such a, a nice building because this one I mean, is not only solar cooking because now we we have to think about not only solar cooking but it's it's great but we're doing restaurants a restaurant is not only the plate you have it's the way you are received uh, the place the people in the it's everything and you, you you can have the best plate ever here for example maybe you're not able to taste it the same way as you would if it was uh, a nice uh, dining room with uh, waitress and, and so on and so on and and for that building we're just getting a bit crazy about what's going to happen because the whole building is based on bioclimatic design that means um, uh, protecting the building from the sun in summer so that the sun is not going to 
inside the building, but to be able to uh, get the sunlight uh, in winter, to heat up the building and all the materials, they mainly um, uh, bio sourced materials. Mm -hmm. For example, we're gonna use um, this wood frame, and uh, uh, within the wood frame, you have okay, you have windows, but mm -hmm. otherwise you have walls, and those walls we're gonna build them in kind of hemp concrete. Oh, sure, sure. So um, it's like old way, old tradition, but now it's legally okay. And it's about uh, 30 centimeters uh, wall, and it makes all the uh, perfect insulation. Insulation, do we do yes, that? Yes, Insulation, but it's, it's also perspirant, breathable, so that um, actually water can go through oh, and sure, out. Sure. And that makes really interesting because during the summer, the water inside will evaporate, so it's going to be cool. And the opposite in the winter, so it's really interesting material. Wow. Because otherwise you just have a wall, maybe it might be concrete, so it's, it's um, waterproof. But then, then you need to insulate it, and then so on and so on and so on, and you have condensation problems. And so, yeah, it's quite interesting. And, and well, we also have some innovation kind of in the building or at least the way we're doing it so i'm, I'm really looking forward because we're dreaming about that since since years actually um, are you looking at being open in the winter yeah long? all the yeah, long yeah. oh man yeah yeah because in winter you have sun yeah. too. Well, i mean have... here in marseille the rainy season i would say even if we lack some <laughs> water <laughs> also um it's more um autumn Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, spring, sure. but winter is usually um, sunny. Mm -hmm. So actually, you can work, and, and sure. we're gonna work at night also. I mean, at dawn, uh, yeah. because the idea is to work until the the sun set. Sure. No, sun down. Yeah, sundown, sunset, sunset. Yes. Yeah. Same as, yeah. And um, and to cook the whole afternoon it's possible to cook with the sun and maybe after if we need some extra energy we're gonna use either the biogas when we will be allowed to do it and yeah. till that we're gonna have some uh, electrical appliance and the idea is not to run the all night and to do as much business as we could it's just to run it as a, uh, a starter of the night you can come at for having a snacks for having some time and, and if you have to have dinner it's gonna be quite early dinner and not up until midnight something like that sure and you'll be able to do like you probably cook pastries ahead of time yeah with the, if you can get the biogas thing going or even during yeah for yeah. example in the stove um, we plan to have like um, keep it warm drawer mm -hmm. and uh, the idea is like once you cook it to keep it warm at 69 degrees 70 degrees right. It's not a lot of energy at the end. Mm -hmm. So even if it's electrical, it's not as much as just cooking. So we can just like do all the cooking during the afternoon and just keep it warm for the, sure. the, the dinner. And actually you just keep it warm. So the stove also will keep warm. So maybe we're gonna need some extra just for the, the small, if we, if we want you to like cook on demand a fish or a piece of things yes. but otherwise it's gonna be okay it's gonna be cooked because yeah. i mean in restaurants now you don't really cook on on, on the order you just cook all the day long right, right. to be ready right. to sell food and 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 it's ready and maybe you do some extra cooking but sure not so much wow wow so and yeah and one point i i, I remember we didn't talk about the fact of cooking inside so we said it's great because you don't have all the, the issue uh, and and uh, and uh, it's cool. Epa. Interrupt any time, my friend. Salut. Nous avons que je voulais rencontrer. Alors, j'ai un bisou de Florence de Solémio de Genève. Ah ouais, cool. Trop bien. Eh bien, écoute, bienvenue. Prends, prends, regardez. J'ai mis le casque. 
Tu me mets là-bas ouais. Comme tu ah veux, non, tu te mets là, tu... Tu... comme ça tu restes à côté de... Je reste. Je vais vite On va faire un petit tour après. Oui. Ils ont déjà eu une petite visite là. Super. Toi, tu es confortable avec l'anglais et tout Yes. Oh. J'ai habité 10 ans aux états unis Voilà, well, ok. Donc Then. ça va. Et je peux traduire... Euh... I'm easy too. Je fais des fautes. Mais... Yeah, ouais, bon. I do too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I was telling you that the um, being able to cook inside, yes, it's cool because it's it's a it's a clean kitchen. So you are allowed to do this uh, in France, like to run the restaurant because you are inside. But the second point is just that you are inside, so you don't cook in the sun. Yeah, and nice. and when, when you are at home, yeah, being outside and okay, it's fun. You don't spend a lot of time, and especially because. You set up your your cooker and then after you go inside and you do whatever you need. But when you professional cook, then you cook the whole day long. And if you have to be outside in the, the sun all day, long, all day long, there is no yes, way and no one no one is gonna use it for a restaurant because it's just too difficult. And especially in south of France because it's so hot, you just just get burned all the time. I mean. Uh, so that was one side also, and that's why when when I see Arnaud uh, with the bakery, it's like okay, bakery is good because bakery just put all the bread. Maybe it takes you half an yes, hour. Yes. Okay, you can stand half an hour outside, and yep. and after you go back inside for one one hour and a half, and it's okay. But when you cook, you always on the stove on and the doing stuff and so on. So there is no way of being outside, even for some. Uh, Uh, for this one, it's okay because we just load it, and we know that every 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you can go back and 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 check if it's good. We have also some alarms that you put inside, oh, and yes. and you set ah, the the temperature the you you need. For example, if you cook a, lot, a big piece of meat, uh, you're gonna put like I want it to to go to 80 degrees sure. inside, and when it goes to 80 inside, then it beeps, and you know that's okay, it's ready. Sure. But, but you go back inside because you need to be, to be under the shade, otherwise it's just, you can't do it. Well, you must burn every Sunday. I'm, ter I'm terrible, because, uh, yeah, right? Joe yeah. keeps telling you, get your hat on, get, get, your, get your, your slather on, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't go out and cook without a hat and glasses. Yeah, sure. I was in I was in Logue, uh, a couple of weeks yeah. ago, and I forgot my umbrella, and I got some oh, burn. Yeah. Yeah, it's going so fast. I mean, yeah, it's too hard to stay outside. I, I, when when people ask me, where well, did you get the idea of solar cooking and so on? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> depends on who is asking. Uh, uh, I'm doing a joke. It's like it was one day I was in the um, on the beach side uh, in Marseille, and I saw all that flesh burn. <laughs> just getting real. Okay. Some of them they were just like uh, getting red and so on. So just, there is there is something there. <laughs> But no, it's not, it's not really because of that. But still, it's just crazy, and 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 you know, it's just like we know, we know it, it's it's hot. We get burned every year, and and people they, they should realize now that it's fucking hot. So <laughs> and especially if you concentrate it, then it's really really hot. But still, when when I do the the wood burning stuff, the people just like oh, it's like. Of course it's burning, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's just like concentrated sun, of course it's gonna burn, there is no way otherwise. But it's funny and, and even for me, I, I am, I'm still a child, you go, look, it's burning, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, just, the sun. it's just the sun. And, and I'm, I'm always surprised that most of the people, they are just like, oh, it's so fast. It's, and it's just like, that means that we are not ready. Uh, that means we have lots of work in yeah. communication to do. Yeah, yeah, but that's just people that just don't picture themselves. They don't im im imagine that you can melt down uh, metal yes. with with uh, with sun easily. Easily. My first solar cooker that I made from plywood, a uh, book called Cooking with the Sun. A couple of Beth and Dan Halsey solar engineers in the 50s. They made this design with just uh, plywood, cardboard for insulation, aluminum foil, glass sheet on the top, and then a bunch of reflectors with aluminum foil. The Kerr and Cole? Uh, oh, not Kerr Cole, it's a Ford, 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 Ford,
And so I built a bunch for our nieces and nephews who are scattered all over the, the country. But before that, I, I built one, put an empty pot in just to see, because I kind of had to be convinced. And I put the thermometer in, I see it's 280 degrees Fahrenheit, or like 120 Celsius at least. And because I'm not making the connection, I open the glass. You know, <laughs> the story. I grab the pot, and, and then, of course, I've right wing. I've done it so many yeah, times. Yes, yes, yes. Energy is energy. It doesn't matter where it came from. Yeah. This was has to be pure and yeah, yeah, sound. <laughs> I mean, with the SK-14, yes. I, I'm, I used it a lot to showcase what our... Do you want to go have a look on the store? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Depends on how it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can, yeah, you can see it's hot, yeah. but still, yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't touch it, so it's a bit 80. I mean, you can touch it, but you can not keep it, so it's about 80 degrees, I would say. And uh, yeah, that's the one of the stove we made, uh, which is really running. But we, we made some that uh, didn't work at all. Yeah. The first one. It's your first one. This one's not the first one, so it's just like the, the third, something like that. Uh, but it's cool, it's working, even if for the, the next project we're going to have uh, another one which is going to work really, really well. And, um, and here you get... What's up with here? Oh, it's a little low. Better like that. That's what we done so far, and uh, it's cool. You see, we burn quite a lot uh, outside. Yeah. Actually, one of my customers helped you with the secondary mirror. Oh, really? He worked on the secondary mirror. Really? So cool. Uh, uh, oh, it's, uh, interesting now uh, it's it's like a uh, uh, automatic steering so we have like a is it like a shuffler yeah it is one it is yeah, a yeah, yeah it is one okay I, I worked with him with Wolfgang like it was 10 years ago almost and um, I told him yeah okay I want to do this project so <coughs> but you know Wolfgang is also like yeah <laughs> I have a lot of people that come to me to do things and uh, most of them they don't really do anything uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I feel like people keep asking me things, but I only have two hands and one small brain. Yeah. I'm not so fast. So that's what happened to Wolfgang also. So at the beginning was like, yeah. <coughs> well, we'll see you. We'll see. Okay. Okay. At some point, well, I was, I don't know, convincing him enough, and also doing job to to show that no, it's good what I want to do. You're, in, you're so an I'm, engineer. Yeah. Yeah. So I met him. And, um, and luckily he had an old one that was destroyed and he said to me, yeah, okay, if you want we can just like refurbish it, you come, we, uh, we do it together and you come back with it for uh, not the real price or a bit, a bit less so that I can start because at the time I had no money to start, so they were really at fault with me. And thanks to that we started with this one and first we just had a small store with just one not really working, but uh, it's cool. You see, we burn quite a lot uh, outside. Yeah. Actually, one of my customers helped you with the secondary mirror. Oh, really? He worked on the secondary mirror. Really? So cool. Uh, uh, oh, it's, uh,
So yeah, um, it's quite interesting now. Uh, it's it's like a, a automatic steering. So we have like a. Is it like a Schaffner? Yeah, it is one. It is yeah, a Schaffner. Yeah, 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 it is one. Okay. I, I worked with him with Wolfgang, like was ten years ago almost. And um, I told him, yeah, okay, I want to do this car. Yeah, I got so <coughs> But you know, Wolfgang is also like. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of people that come to me to do things, and uh, most of them they don't really do anything. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I feel like people keep asking me things, but I only have two hands and one small brain. Yeah, I'm not so fast. So that's what happened to Wolfgang also. So at the beginning was like, yeah. <clears throat> well, we'll see you. Okay. We'll okay. At some point, well, I was, I don't know, convincing him enough, and also doing job to to show that no, it's good what I want to do. You're, in, you're so an I, engineer. Yeah. Yeah. So I met him, and, um, and luckily he had an old one that was destroyed. And he said to me, yeah, okay, if you want, you can just like refurbish it, you come, we, uh, we do it together, and you come back with it. For uh, not the real price, or a bit, a bit less, so that I can start, because at the time I had no money to start. So they were really at fault with me. And thanks to that, we started with this one. And first, we just had a small store, we took one not really working then after we did this one and where we we were using it outside we had no kitchen and so on it was just outside and that's yeah. where we, we were not well known and we just did it you know and <laughs> it was not legal at all but oh, some yeah. well, well it was not legal to be a restaurant so we we twisted it so that we were not a restaurant we were um, um, a, a group of people trying an experimentation about solar cooking, so you had to, you know, you had to, to get your um, your license. Um, yeah, yeah, to be part of the group, so it was one euro, I think, just to be able to test the food and to give it back and so on, so on. So it was a way of doing it yeah. without being too much in danger. But still, well, it was you know, we're not allowed to sell Same because here. of of uh, sanitary rules. Yes. But we're allowed to give. Yeah. But yeah, kind of. But like, it was not like that. It was not open to the public. It, it was, was just private. for the for the people uh, that would uh, uh, become a member of the club. So everyone that walks up, are you a member? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you are. Here's your food. <laughs> no, but they, had, they had to pay extra fee for being a member. Like it was one euro extra fee to become a member, and you get like a proper uh, a card and so on, saying that okay, I know that. Uh, I am a member of this club, this club is doing solar cooking, so so that's at the beginning we started like that because it was oh. way yeah. Yeah. Where is it plugged in? Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, yes. You had that? Where yeah. is it plugged in? No, no, <laughs> what we had is like, no, I was thinking like, we don't have so much problem with it so far, um, but we need to, um, to have a fence to, to close here so that no one can go inside. And on for top safe. of it, for the, for the restaurant, um, I'm going to show that uh, to you uh, right after. We need like, you know, you have that red button where you stop all the kitchen equipment. And say they, uh, they ask us to push that red button, then that move should move away, that, that should stop. In a way yeah. or another one. Yeah. So we have to work on this to make things yeah. that happen. Not too difficult, but still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're going to use uh, Arduino. Uh, just move it away. Yeah, but even if it goes slowly, you just have to move away. But then the point is like, if it moves away, it needs electricity. So if there is a fire, you have to be sure you have a cable that comes from hand, blah, 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 blah. So it's a bit tricky. More expensive. Don't sound it. Yeah. But we know that if we want to do this, we're going to have to apply to comply to certain rules. Yes, they are expensive rules. They made for sometimes. But. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm Look how far you are already. Yeah, well, yeah. see, it's a. Uh, so that is all yeah. the is on the way. Ah, yeah, for sure. Including for the bank. Yeah, but it, for sure. And solar cooking starts to really, I mean, Gilles and you, you are in, into that in years. And now you're really getting attention. Uh, so that, that's great. But yeah, the idea was to set up this building, and at the beginning, we just tell the the architect, yeah, let's do a, a really nice one and, um, and, and remarkable and so on. 
No, we say, well, well, you should have told me before that it's going to be so expensive. <laughs> uh -huh. I would have said, no, maybe uh, make it a bit uh, less expensive. But anyway, it's going to be so nice. The, the building is there, uh, you can see the foundation of the building. And they're going to put the, the, the concrete for the foundation tomorrow morning. So we are really happy it's just started. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really awesome, Ben, yeah. And, um, and yeah, it took us quite a long time because we started it I think, six years ago. And, uh, but now we are on. We almost managed to have all the, the money. Uh, but then the war in Ukraine makes everything way more expensive. So we had uh, like to make table like the, the whole stuff. That means buying the, that piece of land, paying the building, the garden, all the equipment and all the people walking around, the architects and so on and so on. And uh, that was 1.7 million euros. Now it's 1.9, 1.2, and we need to find those 200,000 extra till the end of the, the, the building. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because <coughs> the, the most difficult part was to um, get the first loan at the bank. Now they screwed, I mean, in a, in a good way, uh, because if we don't go till the end, I mean, we crash the business. They're gonna get an almost finished building, <laughs> and they, I mean, it's not possible to sell it. You know, it's right. very difficult. So, for them, it's better just to put some two extra, uh, some extra, to get the the project done, and then after it's our business to be able to pay it back. And if we don't pay it back because it's too expensive, then they're gonna g get that building for them, but it will be finished and then you can sell it easily and then so uh, it becomes a problem. So that's why we are, well, it should work. <laughs> and, um, and the idea is to have two, um, two dishes, two parabolas. Yeah, two parabolas, one for the stove, one for the oven. And um, then you have the kitchen, which is there, uh, some tables in front of the kitchen, really open kitchen that can enter and go out uh, really easily. You can see the the, the dishes through and so on. It's a bit more difficult to work with open kitchen because you can't hide the mess. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's way more exciting. Also. Yeah. And uh, in, in here, you have that, um, that uh, well, might, might be like that, I'm not sure, but a uh, place where you have uh, some, some tables and, uh, and a small terrace outside. And the rest is like, uh, Techn technical warehouse, technical and, uh, and, uh, and small uh, desk of the car. So oh. I, there's one guy in that comes to Lodev, uh, uh, Christophe, uh, I forgot his name, he's a professional uh, refrigerator maker. Oh really? So I'm pushing him that he creates a solar refrigerator. Yeah, and, and that because works. Because it's possible. Yeah, yeah, and there is a company, they don't need Yes. Uh, they call Helio Clean. They are in um, uh, Sofia Antipolis. So, so They've done solar cooking with like um, adiabatic or what, not, not adiabatic, well, whatever, uh, absorption uh, system. That's quite easy because those uh, refrigerators, coolers, it's the one with heat. Yeah, the one you use with it, like you yeah. have in, in, in camping cars and so on. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I know how to do heat. <laughs> so uh, I know how to cool down things, but to make it big is quite difficult because yeah. it's really expensive. Yeah, and you have to make sure that it stays cool, yeah. that it doesn't... And the point, that company, they've done it since like, uh, they did it maybe six, seven years ago, and but they did it for a really big scale. So when we, we met them, it's like, yeah, we have a project, we need like, uh, for the restaurants, and like, yeah, but we, we plan to do... Uh, industrial cooling for uh, uh, 1,000 square meter uh, room, you know, so we're like, uh, well, can't you do a smaller one? <laughs> and it was too, I mean, it was not possible. And the point is like, they, they got bank, uh, bankrupt uh, last year because they didn't, I mean, it was too expensive and, and the, the market was not ready to, to pay extra for that. 
and I know they've been they've been uh, um, uh, bought back by another company because it was like no, it's too important. I mean, the the, the knowledge inside yeah. we need to keep it because they they really did a great thing. And yeah, I, I, I really would like to talk to them because that's my dream to have solar. I mean, just think about that in terms of um, imagination. If you have solar ice cube, just like. You know what? It's like no, no. It's just because of the sun. It's like making ice and it's like, yes. what? Yes. <laughs> yes. So that I would love to see a piece of art like that. You know, like you have like a free ice cube on, on the on the beach because it's a hot installation and it's solar ice cube. You know, so I'm, I'm dreaming. Yeah. It's good. No, no, yeah, it's a I, very good. Just dream. like the idea. Very, life begins with dreams. <laughs> just that. And yeah, the the rest of the place. So here we are almost uh, somewhere here. So the, the, the terrace is going to come a bit closer. So we should be here in the and the rest of the place here is going to be just garden with a uh, edible garden, edible forest almost. So yeah, that's what it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. And yeah. Looking forward. A lot. <laughs> We, we will be back. I want to know the opening day. Yeah. Because uh, we will get a ticket. So direct the direct, direct <laughs> flight to Marseille. Okay, <laughs> with pleasure. Hopefully, hopefully, the plan is to open late April, beginning of May next year. Wow, great. That's the plan. Sure. And hopefully, still possible. Yeah. We'll see how the, the, the work is going on. But today, it's still possible to open like late April. I'm going to think of, okay. We need to open soon. I'll yes. keep my calendar open from mid-April to let's say October. Uh, to fill in a little <laughs> bit of margin. Just full season. If if yes. you want, we can ask them if we can open the sure. the, the, yes. the oven there. Glass. Yes. No plastic. See, and Joe, it'll fit. It'll fit on our deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one? Yeah, it's yeah. the one you. Look you're at missing. that spindle it's on. Yes. Yeah, well, this one is not uh, fully automatic. Just have to keep moving it, sure. but it's okay and it's very good. We got uh, some issue with this one because we changed the tube actually. We had, uh, we had um, the first tube, as you, I, I told you, we were testing it and yeah. we had the first one. And the tube I got some um, the materials used for this part uh, at the end with the UV and so on. We got like a um, small uh, uh, form, whatever, and, was yeah. not, and for food, it was not okay. So it's good because they learn also, and so they, they came back to us and gave us uh, this, this uh, new tube. But still, we have to fix some. Uh, and so, uh, here we are. Up. Uh, up. Eggplant. Oh, eggplant. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Because, well. And the point is, like, uh, most of the time, we are looking, um, people, they're looking to cook a lot of things. You know, like, uh, how many, how big it is, how so much? I can cook a lot. See, when you are a cook, just like, how great I can cook it. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where I like to go, because you can see, we could have put a lot, way more. Uh, eggplants and just to, to fill so it, it up but this one we just make it even so that it's gonna cook evenly and you're not gonna have some part burn the other part just boil and that's where it's quite interesting and um, and we try to to cook it the best way possible so and they are pretty good at, at that I'm not yeah. I'm not in the kitchen right now and I'm really I'm not angry but uh, fed up uh, not being in the kitchen, because that's what I really <laughs> like. I don't really 
uh, like being uh, the, the head chef of a uh, project and, and but it's needed now so uh, need, I take yeah, the lead kind of and um, and uh, and but thankfully the two of uh, them in the kitchen they are really really good professionals and they are reading the kitchen like it's so cool because I can trust them 200% and thanks to that I can really fully, fully focus on, on the next thing and so on and I'll be happy to get back in the kitchen soon. And that's just a that's silicone cooking mat in the bottom, right? Sorry? Silicone cooking mat? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's easier to, uh, to, clean. to clean it and, and, yeah. Um, and yeah, we oh, thought yeah. about that and it's going to be way better. It's going to be nice. Yeah, okay. I think it's, uh, it's time to... Sure. Right sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Little ups and downs, but okay. It's not a real anti it's um oh, they, they call it uh oublonné à cru. That means they, they, they add extra ops. Um, oh, all the better. But uh cold the cold extraction. Mm -hmm. Like the IPA is, is when you, you really boil your up and uh, this one's more uh, like cold extraction. Some extra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh. Okay, I'm just getting on table for. They're gonna join us. Uh, some of the partners uh, of Wolfgang and Ike uh, in Germany. And at that time, he had a, um, a five-year-old daughter, and they built a, a mini SK-14. Oh, sure, sure. You know, like like this, yeah. with a small pot, and she was like playing with it, like a normal uh, girl, or, I mean, girl or, or boy uh, cooking. And she was like opening the pot, putting water, taking herbs, doing <laughs> tea, and so on. And it was like enough yes. to just to... Cup? Yeah, but alors, it was not boiling it for sure because otherwise it gets dangerous but he was just eating it maybe yeah. 50 degrees just to make the child believing that okay it's done it's it's heating yes. now i have it for the rest of my life and that's where we need to focus on, uh, on the next generation yes. because they are the ones we need to open up so that they're gonna change things because the yeah, old ones well, <laughs> cool to be with you guys but i know that outside <laughs> yes, there are other ones <laughs>